Good morning. How are you? Thank you for joining once again this online sessions organized by Autologica. My name is Nicolas Frankovic and I have been part of uh, the Autologica team for over five years. Today I will be leading this talk titled Challenges for the Automotive Industry in 2024. Two quick notes, uh, at the end of the webinar we will send you the video so you can keep it and share it with colleagues or anyone else you think might be interested. Also, you will receive a survey that I will appreciate if uh, you could take a minute to complete. Your feedback helps us improve each presentation. Before we delve into the discussion and considering uh, that many of you are new to these uh, sessions, I'd like to briefly explain what Autologica Sky DMS is. Autologica Sky DMS is a management software for dealerships covering automobiles, trucks, motorcycles, and agricultural and construction machinery. Unlike an ERP designed for a wide range of industries, Autologica is specifically tailored for dealerships, taking into account their needs, workflows, common challenges, brand requirements, and the entire universe of this industry. Additionally, we have experts who speak the same language as dealership owners, managers, and employees. This is a concise list reflecting everything Autologica encompasses in the day-to-day -day operations of a dealership. If you're interested in learning more after the session, we can send you information via email or schedule an online demo to address any questions or concerns you may have. Now, yes, after those uh, clarifications, uh, let's take a look at some of the points that continue to be the focus of attention and the new players entering the industry scene. Feel free to ask any questions uh, during the webinar by write, writing in the chat or the question section and we'll uh, respond. If any questions remain unanswered, we will address them via email. This is a topic we emphasize a lot, but for a key, simple and entirely decisive reason, Dealerships that make data-driven decisions are far ahead of those relying on intuition. This is because data offers something that intuition does not. Data provides uh, objective information. It is solid and real. Objective, reliable, and comprehensive information sets inside intuition or prejudice. If sales are plumbering, uh, the reason that uh, can be found in data rather than mere opinions or their departmental performance, for example. In the case of Autologica BI, our data analysis application, information is extracted directly from the DMS, ensuring that the information is real, pure, and comprehensive. The sheer volume of data cannot be managed manually. Dealerships engage in sales, purchases, stock changes, invoice generation returns, uh, they finalize sales, uh, lost sales, they cancel debts, generate new ones, transfer parts and values between branches, and many more actions that leave a trail behind. These trails, uh, which are information, uh, cannot fit into a single mind. At this point, it becomes crucial to understand that tools are needed to harness this information and make decisions because intuition can never encompass all the variables generated. So the leading role of data in leadership management is a fact that needs to be embraced and utilized. Information begins to offer more conclusions and answers. From, uh, from our side as owners and managers, uh, what else uh, can we do besides having the right tools? Dispelling the myth that uh, there are hyper-complex tools. Today, a data analysis tool is intuitive and provides key information in seconds. All the time previously spent generating information, cross-referencing reports, and consulting with each manager 
is condensed uh, into a screen that updates automatically and all the, uh, that time is invested in decision making. Promoting a culture of measurement. Nobody likes being measured, but a culture of measurement is not aimed at control but at improvement. If something isn't measured, how do we know if it's being done well? How do we know if it could be done better? What are uh, we measuring it against? What is the, the industry be uh, benchmark for those indicators? If a department, a role, or a task is not measured, we'll never know if they're between the standards we expect, if they're aligned with the company's objectives, uh, it's a challenging task, but having a measurement culture also uh, indirectly contributes to identifying each person, uh, person short, uh, sorry, and each department with the leadership's overall goals. For example, this is our logic analytics and application we will be uh, launching soon that analyzed thousands of data points to immediately detect if indicators are between expected values. Uh, what this tool and similar ones uh, do is shorten the time between analysis and uh, strategic decision making. One of the most prominent trends in our industry is the electric vehicle revolution. Uh, the increasing adoption of uh, electric vehicles is radically changing how we sell, provide services, and carry out repairs. To adapt uh, to these changes, we need to invest in specialized training and stay abreast of technological uh, advancements in this field. We recently attended a talk discussing the concept of uh, innovation cycles. Um, what I took from there uh, for today's talk is the reduction of time between uh, innovative waves which uh, signify significant uh, industrial and market changes affecting everyone globally. What we are uh, experiencing with electric vehicles and their connectivity, something that seems to be progressing in parallel and beyond the news uh, predicting uh, their future success or failure uh, is the cultural and economic change they entail. We are contemporaries to the emergence of this technology and that uh, has implications uh, for which we must be prepared. Both for vehicle leaderships and machinery leaderships, it is important to be attentive to the changes that come with this new technology. Specialization. New forms of mobility have already begun to transform the landscape of the automotive sector through greater connectivity, autonomous driving modes, and changes in ownership through shared use. For this reason, specialization and technologies play a fundamental role in terms of generating appropriate information, especially in fleet operations. Uh, let's go with uh, the services. Electric vehicles require, uh, require less maintenance than combustion uh, vehicles, so it is evident to think that the option is to anticipate uh, the increase in demand and thus have trained personnel to perform diagnosis and or repairs with knowledge of components and systems that this new technology requires, as well as its marketing. Both official leaderships and workshops must have personnel with specific uh, technical training, such as in electrical safety, uh, electromechanics, mechanical engineering, etc. For various tasks, uh, tasks sorry, such as system disconnection and insulation and voltage verification. And last but not least, the charging points. Uh, charging points will serve both to charge vehicles while they remain in the workshop and to find and fix faults related to this system, specifically, uh, especially, uh, sorry, with uh, the communication protocol between the vehicle and the charging point. 
In some dealerships, especially in the United States, the location of a charging terminal is complemented with another business unit to take advantage of the time that the customer will be waiting for their vehicle to charge, such as uh, test drive other units while waiting, uh, service areas, cafeteria, small bookstores, resting places, uh, redesigned of uh, space to show to show sorry a more ecological or sustainable facet. For years, customer experience has been fundamental for all brands, and this premise remains an indisputable priority across all platforms. In 2024, this will be no different. Offering a unique experience is imperative to maintain and strengthen relationship, uh, relationship story with each customer. It's much easier to lose a customer than to retain one. That's the reality. Not paying attention to the customer experience, whether they are in the leadership, in the workshop, or when they contact through any ch uh, channel, is to provide a maneuvering space for any competitor. And being in a super competitive industry with creative uh, salespeople who seize every opportunity to approach the customer, for example, it's not advisable to overlook the details. These data provide an approximate approach to the reasons why customers are lost. Without focusing on uh, those that are beyond any effort of the leadership and those that are mainly linked to economic issues, more than a half are 100% related to the experience and quality of attention. And in those cases, uh, these are a uh, direct responsibility that, like any culture, must be fostered and uh, incentivized from management and the very values of the leadership. There are many strategies to offer the best experience. Uh, here are some that can be implemented. First, uh, we can take advantage of automated uh, service uh, after each customer interaction. Whether through a CRM or a well-planned process, this brief service uh, provides valuable information about the customer experience and allows us to act accordingly. Additionally, it is important to foster a positive, a positive image or on review sites such as Google. Positive customer reviews can influence the purchasing decision for other users. You can do a quick exercise right now. Google the, the name of your dealership, scroll down to the location result, and enter a, a store. How many uh, stars does it have? What messages did customers leave? How many messages were left unanswered? While you are Googling, uh, if you want, you can tell us in the chat what you are discovering. I remind you that at the end of the presentation, we will leave you a, a short survey uh, to tell us what you thought of the talk, what things you would like to address in future sessions, and if you want to see more information about Autological Sky DMS or analytics, let us know there so we can coordinate a talk. The results uh, are varied, of course, but it's necessary to, uh, for the stars to be as many as possible. Because although it uh, may not seem relevant at first glance for many people, it's an indicator of whether they will go to, to that dealership or not. It works the same way as in any application, like food uh, delivery apps or, any, uh, or in any e-commerce seller. Between choosing one with three stars and, and another with four, we'll always choose the higher rated one. That's why we should never underestimate the places uh, where the customer uh, expresses themselves. 
Another way to generate a good experience is to participate in sector events and exhibitions, to be close to buyers and customers, providing an uh, invaluable opportunity to interact and respond to their queries. Um, an agile and dynamic after sales experience is uh, essential. Incorporating technology to simplify processes such as requesting appointments in a few uh, steps improves customer satisfaction. Few customers uh, will choose to go to the physical location to request an appointment and some may feel more comfortable calling by phone. Most undoubtedly will seek a contactless experience. Therefore, it is essential that the customer feels valued and understood and uh, it is necessary to have a complete view of each customer and their history of jobs, purchases and services. This allows us to offer a more personalized and relevant service. It's not the same to start a campaign to offer something they don't need than to send a message suggesting an appointment for the service due in a few days. So, uh, and the, this last point we believe is more complicated in the short term, but many brands are looking uh, to offer customizable configurations options for each vehicle and they are exploring and taking their first steps in technologies like virtual reality that uh, can further elevate the customer experience. Is it simple? Of course not, but we uh, know that these experiences are starting to be uh, sought after and that eventually, like everything, they will become common practice. These uh, three are not the only ones, but we made that cut to make this presentation dynamic and also to present three points on which we can start thinking and planning how they will be addressed beyond the action that can be taken or not. Uh, the important thing is to always have them in mind to know that uh, they are topics that are being discussed in every sphere of the industry and that they are analyzed by, um, by brands and that they will shape the future of the industry. All right, uh, we will answer any remaining questions uh, through email. And without further ado, I want to thank you for attending and participating in this webinar. During the month of March, uh, we will send out invitations for upcoming sessions. And I remind you that upon uh, exceeding the webinar, we will see the survey I mentioned. Uh, and it's very short and it won't take you more than a few minutes. And it really helps us improve. Um, I hope you have a very good Friday. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you in future sessions. Until next time, goodbye.